Hi, I'm Terry Wilk, principal at Stantec. I chair the research grant committee for the Education and Research Council of the CISC. Each year, the committee receives grant applications from colleges and universities across Canada for research to further the advancement of structural steel. We look to annually award up to $100,000 in grant support for these colleges and universities for their research. This year, the committee recognized four research grant applications to receive support from the ERC. The principal researcher of the top vote getter amongst all submissions is awarded the H.A. Krentz Award and $5,000. The H.A. Krentz Award is named in honor of Hugh Krentz, who was instrumental in developing codes and standards, was an educator and a mentor to the Canadian steel industry. I'm very happy to announce that this year's H.A. Krentz Award is presented as joint winners to Professor Sanda Kovovich from Polytechnique de Montreal and Lydell Weeb from McMaster University for their research project on lighter concrete shoes, lowering cost of foundations for seism seismically designed steel brace frames. Congratulations, Sanda and Lydell. Please say a few words. Well, thank you to you, Terry, uh, and to the CISC's Education and Research Committee for supporting this project. Uh, Sanda and I feel really honored to have been chosen for this award. I'm going to share my screen for a second here just to, to show a few slides related to the, to the project that we're doing. Um, we called this proposal uh, Lighter Concrete Shoes because we've seen that the current foundation design provisions uh, for steel braced frames lead to really large and, and uneconomical foundations that can make even the most efficient steel structure uh, uneconomical because of the cost of all of the concrete that's going into the foundation. And so we're excited to work together to explore how designers could promote excellent seismic performance while also avoiding unnecessary costs. As Dylan mentioned, this project began with several conversations and experiences that made it very clear to us that the way we design foundations for steel frames in Canada can be a huge problem to promote the use of steel in industry. Uh, for the last couple of years, I have been doing research on soil structure interaction for soil, uh, steel brace frames, and we have seen very clearly that current design procedure can actually result in rather conservative foundation sizes. This image uh, that you can see here showed the, what the foundation may look like for a brace frame in Vancouver, which is designed according to current codes. We expect that we could reduce the size of foundation and thereby also the cost of the concrete for it, uh, quite substantially, if design provisions can reflect better steel brace frame behavior. And then from my side, I've been researching structures that are intentionally designed to rock on their foundations to avoid structural damage during earthquakes. Um, and what can also happen is that the foundation can rock on the soil. And in fact, some recent studies in the United States States have suggested that, in fact, this is happening unintentionally in some cases, but actually leading to uh, enhanced seismic performance. And so discussing this with Sanda, as well as with some industry partners, uh, Andy Metten and Trevor Whitney from Bush Bowman in Vancouver, um, together we all saw a lot of potential to combine our expertise and to work together towards foundation design provisions that would promote safe and resilient seismic performance while also being more economical. Well, it's exactly this collaboration that is the part of the project I would say that excites us the most. We are very grateful for the impact that we have already received from Andy and Trevor in understanding all the issues that they face when designing the steel brace frames in, in British Columbia. And we are very much looking forward to having researchers from both our universities to work together. And in fact, this collaborative research effort involving two universities and the industry is essential to ensure that a common Canadian perspective is achieved and that we can find solutions for better foundation design that would work across Canada, regardless of uh, the region, whether we are in high or moderate seismicity. So thank you again uh, to the CISC for the funding that makes this project possible and for recognizing the importance of this research and the value of the collaborations both between the universities and with the industry. Uh, we expect and hope that this project will move us in the direction of lighter concrete shoes for steel buildings all across Canada. Thank you very much. Thank you.